So this video is going to be about the origins of genetic variation among offspring. So genetic variation is going to arise in each generation and that is going to contribute to the evolution of a species. So sexual reproduction is going to lead to unique combinations of genetic traits because of a couple different ways including um, independent assortment and crossing over uh, which we'll talk about shortly. So those two major mechanisms are independent assortment and crossing over like I just stated. So looking at independent assortment first, so that's going to be the random orientation of pairs of homologous chromosomes. So this is going to occur during metaphase 1 of uh, meiosis 1, and so there's four possible combinations for these different daughter cells based on how these chromosomes are going to line up with one another at that metaphase plate. So to illustrate this, so right here we can have these chromosomes lining up in this orientation at the metaphase plate, and when we go through all of the division processes of meiosis, we end up with these four um, daughter cells. However, this other possibility is equally as possible because the way that these chromosomes line up on this metaphase plate is completely random and how this pair of chromosomes lines up is completely independent of how this pair lines up. So it really could go either way. And so if we have this situation, then we can see as these homologous chromosomes get pulled apart during meiosis 1 and then sister chromatids get pulled apart during meiosis 2, we end up with different combinations of uh, genetic material in these daughter cells. So moving on to crossing over. So crossing over is going to be the production of recombinant chromosomes. So I mentioned in another video that crossing over is going to be the exchange of genetic material between two non-sister partners of a homologous pair. And so we can see that taking place right here. So this red chromosome is exchanging parts of its uh, genetic material with this non-sister blue chromosome right here, but they're still homologous to one another because they code for the same genes. And so you have one to three crossover events for each chromosome pair. And again, this occurs during prophase one of meiosis. I hope you found this video really helpful. All images, unless otherwise stated, are from Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building. You can schedule a free one-on-one -on -one 30 minute appointment or you can drop in during uh, any of our normal business hours. For more details, visit www.baylor.edu tutoring.